It's a cow. He did mention that he only has one milk cow left, and she only eats carrots. So... Moo. Well, we are, uh... We are here. We could, we could go for some milk. So let's see if she'll hand any over. Uh, okay. Your heart may be warm, but the cow gave you the cold boot. That's a hint. Uh, milking with cold hands. Not a good idea, apparently. Alright. Well, let's... Let's worry about that later. Or no, let's head back in and see if we can take care of it now. Well, we got some hay here. We steal it. And then this is where it gets a bit strange. You have to drop the hay after you've picked it up. And now if we, uh, we set it on fire, which seems like a bad idea, inside a barn with a hay floor, we're given the option to warm our hands. There we go. So if we try milking her again... We milk the pavement. We need a container. Seriously, you have to tell it to put it in a container. Alright, well, let's try that again. Our uh, flask is currently full of water. So, let's try using the thermos. There we go. And he did mention that, uh... The cow eats carrots, but... We'll worry about that later. For now, let's, uh... We don't have to, but... Well, I guess we can't. We can't really put the fire out. I was under the impression that we could. And don't worry, it's not going to burn the farm down when we leave. I guess Smokey the Bear pops up for us. Well, we have one other direction to go here. It's uh, off to the left. There you oh. are. I'm Rebecca Snoot. We weren't properly introduced. I know there's something evil happening, and I know its name is Morpheus. It keeps introducing itself in my dreams. I'm working on a book it's called Zork, The Return of Evil. I'll let you know what I find out. All right, well, this is a pleasant surprise. We'll randomly encounter Rebecca as we wander throughout the countryside. Uh, her encounters are literally not scripted. You, ha you have to bump into her. So, this changes my plans a little, but no problem. Let's see what she's got to say. She's a great source of information. There you are. I'm Rebecca Snoot. Oh, we weren't crap. properly introduced. She's just going to repeat herself. I know there's something evil happening, and I know its name is Morpheus. It keeps introducing itself in my dreams. I'm working on a book called Zork, The Return of Evil. I'll let you know what I find out. Well, anyway, she did mention Morpheus. Uh, that isn't the first time we've heard the name. If you remember back when we threatened the lighthouse keeper, he mentioned that something keeps appearing in his dreams, calling itself Morpheus. So, something is going on with dreams. Anyway, let's ask her about, well, everything. Keeps milk fresh for days. Oh, all right. Well, that was also the hint that you need to use the thermos to uh, collect milk. You can try it with a flask, but uh, we'll show that off later. Oh, that's useful. Uh, great. That comment wasn't. That was about her mirror that we stole from her. Looks like she's holding the script. Oh, it's in magic script. Probably from that senile old wizard, Frobot. I can't read that script. Hmm. I thought he said it was Bizboz. Still, she can't read it. And... So you got one of Rupert's orbs. They say that those are really ancient crystals. Okay, that's actually useful information. Anyway. I've heard about the Cliffs of Depression. That's where Transluminite comes from. 
There's a comedy club there. That's right. I don't know how she knew from the box of matches that uh, Chuckles Comedy Club was located in the Cliffs of Depression, but yeah, that's where it is. You know the lighthouse keeper's gonna lose his job if he doesn't get any aluminite. Oh. Well, he did mention he needs aluminite. The lighthouse runs on it. The mayor's office has a great filing system. When I want to know something, I don't even bother with the library. Well, I don't know about that, but she's right. That's supposed to be our hint to use the filing cabinet for hints. Oh, so you've met Mavis Peepers. She's a wealth of information. All right, so she knows Miss Peepers. That place is full of rats. Yeah. The owner just left it, but we can't find a key for it. Okay, so it's locked and there's no one home. Count your fingers after you shake hands with them. Poor Pugme. He just can't seem to cope. Yeah, no kidding. Speaking of which, that reminds me, before we go anywhere, I'd like your picture. Excellent. Okay, well, we've gotten all the information out of Rebecca that we can for now, but she's been fairly useful if we aren't completely aware of it yet. Still, she'll be more useful later on in the game when we uh, unlock a few of her, well, an interesting ability that she has. And now we're at the Vulture Pits. Um... That music sounds ominous. I think I'm going to save. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's explore. Oh boy. Well, I guess that's enough for one video. See you next time.